Shoe, we're coming at you with our first impressions on Giannis's newest shoe, the Nike Zoom Freak 4. Let's go. You can't play a player, baby. That's just how the game goes. All I'm focused What's going on, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Like I just said, we are checking out Giannis's newest shoe in his signature line, the Nike Zoom Freak 4. These things are pretty interesting. You see that big reverse Nike swoosh? On the ones, the swoosh was kind of worked into the midsole, came back this way. These ones like have it built up a little bit more onto the upper. Uh, I was actually kind of talking to him about this earlier, talking to Chase. These kind of remind me of like a tennis shoe. Like, not like a tennis shoe. Yeah, I could see that. I think like, this colorway alone. I can think, is this spelled the same way? Tennis shoe and tennis shoe? Either way, like a shoe that you would play actual tennis in. Like this looks like something Federer or Nadal or something like, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, the Zoom Vapor, Zoom Court type things that you play tennis in. And my brother was a tennis player, so that's kind of like what makes me think it kind of looks like that shoe. But definitely an interesting model. This is the part of Giannis's signature line. This is the Fours. He, has, he had a new budget-friendly model just come out recently too. It was like the Giannis Immortality 2s or whatever. It was the second shoe to release in this budget-friendly line. We're up, to, we're up to four now on his signature line. So shout out Giannis. I like it. We're starting, and we got, well, we got John Moran's got a new shoe coming out next summer. So Nike's starting to build up some uh, more signature lines. I do like that, but. What's the price on these? Oh, what is the price? These are 130. So that, these actually did get a $10 price bump from the uh, Zoom Freak 3s that were 120 last year, but they did switch some things up on this model. I was glad to see. I mean, they've done a pretty good job of that in Giannis's line so far. Like the Zoom Freak 1s compared to the 2s look way different. The 2s to the 3s way different. 3s to the 4s kind of got that same exact idea. These do look more similar to the ones than they do probably any other line with that reverse Nike swoosh. Kind of a cool build though, but like I said, it doesn't look necessarily like, uh, I don't want to say it doesn't look like a basketball shoe, but what it does look like is we got some palm tree socks on today. So let's come up here and check, 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 uh, check these bad boys out. The palm tree theme, these are super clean. I think they go good with the shoe too. Yeah, I That's agree. why I picked them out. As always, guys, these are numbered, so these are going to be numbered. Uh, is it on this one? Might be on the other side on these. Where's it at on these ones? I don't know. These things are numbered. Oh, it's on the back side. Just throwing them off. These are numbered to 25 on our website right now, so if anyone's liking these socks, feel free to go and check them out. That's where we got them up for sale, but like, I do like the look for this Giannis Zoom Freak 3. It's definitely like, I've been, I've been harping on Nike to put the reverse swoosh on everything. It just gives me like those Travis Scott vibes, so I think it's a, you know, honestly a pretty cool looking model. Overall uh, comfort though? How's it feel? Comfort doesn't feel, impression? comfort feels pretty good. I mean, most of Giannis' shoes kind of feel like they're loaded in the forefoot, but the best way to check that stuff out is on the court. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get on the court, kind of put some shots up, see how these feel from more of a performance like standpoint. But before we do that, I just wanna take a second to uh, just say thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow, a sub, whatever. If this is your first time stopping by, we would definitely appreciate that. And drop down in the comments what you guys like wanna see on our channel going forward. It's kind of like an interactive time for you to kind of give, give us some feedback, see what you guys are feeling. Also, let me know what you think about the Zoom Freak 4 so far. Like, I love them, maybe. I like them, definitely. Like, it's definitely not a bad looking model. But let's see how they play now. Now let's go and see how they play. As you guys can see, I got the brace back on today. Hands still, it's still healing. I'm hoping maybe about two more weeks we'll kind of get a better idea. Because I can use it now. You can see I can use it now. I just got to kind of keep it off that outside. But now we'll go ahead and talk about how this model feels. And for the cushioning, like I was just saying a second ago, you can kind of feel that in the forefoot is always going to be where most of that softness is going to come from in Giannis's model. Something cool about these that I was looking at whenever I put them on, is if you come down here and look at the bottom of this shoe, this green spot right here, like you can kind of see it through there, but underneath on the bottom of the shoe is what I'm trying to get at, these green bubbles, like you can feel that foam in these two spots right there. You can actually feel that like cushioning unit and it feels soft, like it's exposed, which is really weird. Like I feel like if you step on something sharp, it's gonna pop it. Yeah, I was like just I, about to say, how yeah, is that gonna work with durability? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I mean, it should be fine unless you're playing basketball on like some nails. Like, right, theoretically it's a, a smooth court right so like it should be okay but like Giannis always has or I don't want to say always I can't remember how the twos played exactly but uh the threes were definitely more top loaded like you had like zoom air units in the forefoot the heel didn't feel quite as soft I'm kind of getting that same kind of cushioning feel on this model like I put these on and he has like a nice like like a plush feel all around the sock liner I've been noticing Nike doing a really good job with padding like the collar and stuff like that but as far as the cushioning it's not going to be like you know LeBron-esque you know, super, super soft. I mean, we got some mowing going on in the background right now. I hope you guys can't hear that, but yeah, I mean, the cushioning, I wouldn't say it's maybe the strongest point about this model, but 
it definitely doesn't feel like a weak point. Something that they did do is this upper material is a lot, it's a lot thinner than what I uh, expected it to be. Like this green in the midfoot is like super, super thin. It's like a netting. It kind of feels like some mesh. You can see the mesh holes right there. You got some more like, you do have some, somewhat of some overlays. I think this is some type of black overlay there. I don't see any midfoot band, but this stripe, this stripe, this swoosh is gonna wrap up your foot. That's gonna really help with keeping your foot from going outside the shoe. Kind of just like. What about the traction pattern on these? Oh yeah, what do we got for the traction on these? More of a random pattern, you know how they do it. Nike, oh, <laughs> look at my ankle looks broken in this. Guys, it doesn't hurt, I promise. Uh, yeah, it's got like a random pattern. Look at that, you get the air zoom right here on this bubble pocket. So I guess that is gonna be more air, air zoom up in the forefoot, which is pretty standard. That is what he's been using a lot on his lines recently. So performance feels like they're gonna be solid. I wanna say it's like, I haven't been overly impressed with this shoe from any standpoint. The traction feels like it's probably gonna be good, not great again. So like we just check, I mean, sometimes these lines figure it out. Like the LeBrons have been struggling for traction for weeks. We just did our first impressions on those last week. Traction's way better. It's so much better on those. These ones, they, I mean, it feels like a really similar model, just, uh, just based off of the, uh, just the initial response on the court. Feels like you're gonna get that same top loaded unit. The support's never really been bad. They lost the strap on this year's model. The threes did have that strap running over the midfoot. I don't even see a midfoot band to replace that. Maybe there is one. I haven't like kind of dove into it yet, but definitely not a bad looking model. I like the reverse swoosh. That wraps up our first impressions on the highly touted Nikes. I don't know if they're high, that highly uh, regarded, but the Nike Zoom Freak 4. Definitely not bad. What do we got on the tongue issues too? What is that? You got the Zoom Freak logo on that one? I don't even know what this is. Is that a compass? That's a compass. I don't even know what this colorway is called, but the Zoom Freak 4, like I said, kind of looks like a tennis shoe, a shoe to play tennis in. Like, that's just what it reminds me of a little bit. Just, and that's more so like, you see a lot of tennis models kind of get that wider. Uh, these do have a noticeable outrigger. That's also gonna help the support. That's kind of the same like four foot construction that they had on the Zoom Freak 3s. It's a really similar build, but they took the strap off, which obviously changes it. And then they reverse that Nike swoosh, which obviously changes it. Some brands make it way too hard. You don't gotta do that much to switch these up. Not a bad looking model, I don't think. But, but overall, Landon, what do you think? Are these worth the $135? $130. 130. Some are, some colorways are 135 though. But I mean, initial, initial uh, impression on this is maybe. Yeah. Like I can't give you a definitive yes. It doesn't feel like an absolute no because I know the support's going to be solid. The cushioning's easily playable. The traction's where I'm a little bit worried. That's really the only thing though. But I don't know. There's only I mean, we'll have a full review kind of breakdown coming out on these within the next week or two. So keep your eye out for that. But for right now, that's going to wrap up our first impressions on the Giannis on the Nike Zoom Free 4. Peace.